Welcome to Macro Magic. I'm Sherry Damaris, and I'm really excited to share with you a series of brand new shows that I'll be doing where I'll be interviewing various guests about their condition, their, uh, any health issues they may have, and talk about what foods would most benefit those conditions. Uh, many of you have watched my shows for over three years now and learn so much from some of the leaders in the plant-based world like Colin Campbell and Neil Barnard and uh, Stephen Acoff. And a lot of you have been asking me to share with you some of the knowledge that I've gained over the years in terms of what foods heal what ailments. And these are very simple remedy drinks and, and food dishes that you'll be learning um, as I interview people with various health conditions who are willing to share their story on the show. So my first guest is Lorraine McCamley, and I met Lorraine um, through our Alumni Association at William & Mary, and um, she was a professional coach looking for people to practice on, and I was really excited to take some of her sessions. And through the course of our uh, conversation, I learned from her that she was curious as to what I was doing. So I began to share with her some of the information that you'll be uh, hearing about these next couple series of uh, shows. And she came on as one of my first clients and she liked to share her story about how she learned a little bit more about macrobiotics and then began cooking macrobiotics at home. So a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still new. <laughs> so thanks, Sherry. It's really great to be here, and I, I, I am excited to share my story um, because, you know, I'm uh, not a young girl anymore, and I've been struggling most of my adult life with, um, in a lot of ways, just feeling like a failure um, with respect to my weight. You know, I put it on, I take it off, I put it on, I take it off. And I, I realized I was at a point where I, I sort of stopped trying mm -hmm. because I, I knew or felt that I would fail, so why, why bother? And so many people are in this position. I can't tell you, people stop me on the street and even ask me questions about weight uh, loss and then also uh, high blood pressure and cardiac issues. And oftentimes, even amongst the vegan group that I, I work with, they're not aware of a vegetable called daikon. Mm -hmm. So we brought daikon on the show today. It's a long white radish, um, sort of the same shape as a carrot. This obviously has part of it cut off. Um, and where to find these? at your natural food store, Whole Foods Market even carries them, mm -hmm. um, or farmer's markets. Um, it's a white, sort of bitter tasting, uh, pungent uh, radish, and Japanese people know to serve them with fish. So they'll, they'll grate them real fine and just put a little bit of dab on a sushi or on a fish or a nori roll, and it helps with digestion, but not only that, it breaks down excess uh, protein and fat in the body. And um, today we're gonna show you a drink, a real simple remedy drink that you can take for about 10 days um, and early in the morning before you eat anything. And how remarkable it is that it starts to help um, you digest better, but also discharge some excess salt, some extra protein, and some extra fat. Yeah, so I, um, I had never heard of daikon. <laughs> <laughs> I had never heard of a lot of the things that, <laughs> I'd never heard of macrobiotics. Um, so, but what really sold me was Sherry saying, just add brown rice. Mm. Just add brown rice. Don't worry about cutting anything out just add brown rice. And I thought, I can do that. <laughs> simple, simple. Yeah, yeah, people often think that when they go on a diet, they have to lose weight, so they have to cut out their favorite cakes and puddings mm -hmm. and pies and snacks. But if you're starting to add really good quality food to your diet, naturally you don't crave all that junk. Mm -hmm. So the more 
oatmeal you eat, the less ice cream you might binge on at night, or the more brown rice you have during the day, the less simple carbs you might mm -hmm. cut out for yeah. snacks. Yeah. So, um, so Sherry has her cookbook, and I thought, well, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll take a look at that, because um, I'm not the cook in the in the house. I'm the dish cleaner. Um, it, but I thought, okay, well, it was written for kids, <laughs> so maybe I'll understand it. And um, and I found the first recipe I found was a black bean burger, and I knew all the ingredients. I I had only bought tahini once in my life, but um, but at least I knew what it was, and um, and that's really what I what I started with because I wanted a one pot, easy thing that really had everything I I needed in it, and um, I don't know I sent some pictures in um, a couple nights ago for dinner. I had one of those black bean burgers on lettuce with some leftover whole wheat orzo. And I was very proud of myself for that, and then. Um, and then I began to experience, experiment with new things like sauerkraut. I had no idea. I don't like pickles. I do like beer. Um, <laughs> the fermented things, you know, I wasn't too sure about. And Sherry made me some, uh, some sourdough bread with peanut butter and sauerkraut. And I, I closed my eyes and took a bite and thought, well, this is pretty good. <laughs> so, you know, I, um, it's, it's, been easier than I thought to um, to begin my transition to, to plant based, and not only plant based, but um, you know we're, we've talked before about well what is macrobiotics, and and I think about the macro concept as um, you know it's not just a specific food or ah, food or diet, it's it's a holistic view. It's it's building balance in all areas of your life, and that, like, I knew what plant based was, but I really didn't understand about this concept of balance. Um, and that's probably where my journey will be next. Is okay. Well, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I shared with Lorraine was. We all go back to balance every day. Your body constantly moves back to balance. If you get cut, that cut starts to heal right away. It goes back to balance. When you eat something salty, you crave something sweet or, or liquid. If you eat too much liquid, you crave something salty. So your body's always going back to balance. It's the problem is when we go so far out of balance, we have to use another extreme to come back to balance. Mm -hmm. So the key, in, you know, in macrobiotics, we recommend a healing diet. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the diet that you have to follow all the time, but if you're trying to heal from a disease, it's the easiest way to heal from a disease, is to move back into the center. And the most balancing food are whole grains, and of the whole grains, the most balancing food is brown rice. So just simply by adding a little bit of brown rice, you could cook it down like oatmeal in the morning, or you can eat it at lunchtime as a stir fry, or roll it in a sushi, a uh, nori roll. Um, but just adding it into mm -hmm. your diet brings you back to a sense of balance. Mm -hmm. All around the world when people got sick, they cooked brown rice down to a cereal called kanji. So you'll read about this in Vietnam, in Taiwan, in China. They all have kanji. What is kanji? Kanji is just cooked down grain or cooked down brown rice. And then they would add specific herbs, like if you had a lung problem or if you had a digestive problem. But it was always the base was brown rice. And in our recent film that I just produced called The Spirit of Rice, we talk about how rice is not only good for babies weaning if they can't get breast milk, you know, rice milk is so healthy, but if someone's passing away or dying, because it definitely heals the digestive tract, but then also brings that calm and peaceful feeling to the body. And if you lost your appetite, if you're severely ill and you take a little bit of brown rice cereal and drink it or eat it, it brings your appetite back. So it's a very healing food. Yeah, and what, um it was interesting is I, I just got back from vacation where we ate out quite a bit and wow I could really tell a difference 
you know, when they only served white rice and, um, well, there was cheese everywhere, but, you know, <laughs> it, you know, it was really, I, I was anxious to get back mm -hmm. um, because I knew on the diet that I had started to switch to, I felt better. Mm -hmm. And also, you, what happens to me when I travel is I miss greens. I, mm -hmm. I miss green vegetables. You know, I know you were in Paris, sometimes they give you a couple string beans, but it's not like the big leafy greens we have here, like the kale and the collards and the bok choy, things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So we want to talk about your journey, but we also want to talk about a course that we're offering now through um, the Macrobiotic Global Institute, which is connected to Macromagic on the website. And in this course, uh, which is starting in October, we offer some unique things that aren't offered in regular macrobiotic courses. We offer some coaching, some personal coaching, which many of you have asked for from taking my cooking classes. And Lorraine is practiced and um, really um, uh, has a wonderful technique of coaching that she's going to use in the program to help students along. So. Many students come, they take a cooking class, then they start forgetting their recipes, and then they start you know, going to their in-laws for dinner, and then it, it, you know, once mm -hmm. you start eating back junk again, you just create more and more junk, and it's hard to come back to it. Mm -hmm. So the coaching aspect of our cooking program will really help. That's what I'm, I'm hoping, because I've realized just going through the process myself that it really is a, a a major transition and you have to be mentally and emotionally and it, everywhere you know prepared for that mm -hmm. and I realized that on a lot of the diets and exercise things that I feel like I failed at I, I knew intellectually that I needed to make a change but I really wasn't ready mm -hmm. and what's so awesome about the timing of when I met you was that I was ready mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to break for commercial, and you're going to see a, a quick little commercial about the Macrobiotic Global Institute. And when we come back, we're going to show you a remedy drink for losing weight. And then we're going to talk a little bit about Lorraine's journey and more about our school. and welcome back to Macro Magic. Um, today on my show I have a special guest, Lorraine McCamley, and we're talking about her journey through macrobiotics and learning about it, and then also weight loss in general. And we wanted to show a really quick, easy drink for you viewers out there who want to start losing weight. Now this is like a harmless remedy. Um, there's a lot of diet pills out there, and, and you know, tons of pharmaceuticals that all promote weight loss, but they always have side effects. This has no side effects. Um, you don't want to overdo it though, because daikon can be extremely astringent in the body and create a, a big discharge. So if you feel a little weak, um, that's why we add a carrot. Um, so these are the two uh, vegetable ingredients in the drink. The carrot <clears throat> gives you a little bit of strength if the daikon depletes you too much. 
So this is the daikon radish, like I explained before. This radish is helps dissolve fat and protein and salt in the body, helps break it down, and it helps lower cholesterol. So if you're concerned and you know your doctor wants you to take cholesterol medicine, always listen to your doctor, but you can add this as well. So in the recipe, and by the way, um, you can, we're gonna show you a QR code during the program that you can scan immediately with your phone to get the recipe. It's a simple recipe. It's a half cup of grated carrot and daikon, which we did already in the pan. This is a porcelain grater. You can just use a regular grater, but you want a grater that's very fine, not in big pieces. So Sherry, I, I noticed that you didn't um, peel the carrot and the daikon. Yeah, we never peel vegetables and macrobiotics. So we scrub them though with a brush um, ahead of time because skins have so many vitamins and minerals in them. So really easy, just grate your carrot and grate your daikon. Put it into a small saucepan, half cup of each. And then we're gonna put about a cup of water. And we're just making a small amount so we put a little bit less. Now you can stop here and just put a pinch of salt, turn it on for three minutes and simmer it. Um, these added ingredients are just for flavor, but they also give you a little bit, like I said, if you get weak from the daikon, a little bit more strength. Um, there's umeboshi plum. These are um, pickled plums that are made primarily in Japan, but they have tremendous healing abilities. Um, if you're concerned about traveling and catching malaria, or if you have a headache or a fever or stomach ache, uh, some people take them if they've been in a car accident, you know, to prevent shock, to prevent excess bleeding. They're a wonderful um, remedy. And they, uh, they're they grown very um, tart, but once they're pickled with a lot of salt, they taste salty and tarty at the same time. And they have sort of a balancing, exact balancing effect between acid and alkaline. So that's what makes them so healing. So we're gonna turn this down a little bit and just add a couple pinches. Again, this is just more like a salty flavor, but it also makes the drink a little bit stronger. Now, I had trouble finding that. Do you have any yes, tips on um, that? Yes, Eden Foods carries them. If you just go on their website or you can go to Whole Foods, sometimes you'll find them on the shelf in the macrobiotic section or any natural food store. So for the shoyu, we use, um, uh, well, we put in a half a plum, just a few drops of shoyu. Now this is natural soy sauce, that's all it is. When I say shoyu, it doesn't have chemicals, it doesn't have colorings, it's not tamari. Tamari is a little bit more salty. If you're uh, gluten intolerant, you do wanna use tamari. You just stir it a little bit. And you're simmering it only for about three minutes. And then you take a piece of nori, and just kept, tear off a third of a sheet and drop it in. Now this drink is also good for prostate cancer. It helps dissolve any hardness, hard tumors in the body. Uh, like I said, it dissolves fat very easily. So I used to make it for my dad every morning. He's like, well, I don't know if I can take the carrot and the daikon together. <laughs> but uh, he got used to it and actually you know, would ask for it in the morning, which was shocking. It is good to have in the morning, first thing in the morning, um, before you eat. Why is that? It helps really clean out the digestive tract. When you're sleeping, your body goes into uh, discharge. Uh, your liver, everything, you know, opens up and starts to clean out. And that's why we suggest don't ever overeat. Stop eating three hours before bedtime. It's a good uh, weight loss suggestion. We're just going to turn off the flame because it's been three minutes. And we're going to stir it. And then I, I made this for the um, crew at Good Morning San Diego show I was on when mm -hmm. I was teaching at the Integrative School of Medicine in California. And the news anchors were like, well, we just ate our Danish. Let's see if it goes well with our Danish. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not going to work. So it, it's sort of like a carrot soup. 
but you eat and drink the vegetables. Um, you don't just drink the broth. And the grated carrot and the grated daikon is what really cleans your blood, cleans your digestive tract. And try it for about 10 days. Don't go over 10 days because you might get a little weak. You might want to stop for about five days and continue if you want to keep doing it. But you'll notice a whole different feeling in your body mm -hmm. and you'll notice like a weight loss. Yeah, I noticed, um, like I felt like I, I, my face thinned out some. Like I, even my husband could tell. And that, that was really encouraging. And I, what I told Lorraine is oftentimes with weight loss or any sort of discharge, we discharge from the top down. So you'll start to lose weight in your face first. And then that's why with, um, and also from the outside in. So if women have reproductive problems like ovarian cysts or tumors, they're usually the last to heal because you know it, it, it goes from the outside in and from the top down. Mm -hmm. So you will notice a little weight loss. So I'm, I'm a very practical person. Um, so if I'm eating this for breakfast, can I like just put oatmeal in it? No. Oh. So you would want to have this first thing in the morning, like just like you would have a tea in the morning, and then maybe half hour, hour later, have your breakfast. Okay. Have this as the first thing, sort of like a tea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, so we wanted to talk a little bit more about um, our cooking program, which is starting in October. Um, if you sign up, by the end of August, you get an early bird discount of a hundred dollars off. Um, and I, I do want to say, yeah. you know, I, I know I'm new on this journey, and I kept talking to, uh, you know, uh, Sherry and our partner Patricio. You know, are you are you sure you guys are okay <laughs> with me being a part of this? Because I'm, I've got a ways to go, and and um, and it was so uh, they've been so welcoming and inclusive, and and that I was anxious to get on board, you know, with the, the Institute and to be a part of this program. Yeah, because I feel that when we really work on our health, and that's why I have it host this show, when you really work on your health, you're helping to heal the whole planet. Mm -hmm. um, because your attitude changes towards animals and towards plants, and actually, you know, they say when you're eating a lot of junk food, it collects around your heart, it hardens your heart and you start becoming more peaceful and more loving and more kind. Mm -hmm. So we've enjoyed you tremendously <laughs> on the show, on the, in the program. Um, I wanted to mention the name of the program is called Food, Energy, and Body Wisdom. It's five weeks long. The retail value is $1,400, but your cost would only be $695, and if you sign up before the end of August, it would be $595. We offer personalized uh, orientation, five live lectures. There's another person teaching cooking with me, Patricio de, uh, Garcia de Paredes, and he used to run the Kushi Institute in Japan for many years, and he worked very closely with Michio Kushi and helped uh, Abilene Kushi and cook for her for many years as well. So he has tremendous knowledge in macrobiotics and healing and food culture, and he will be lecturing and offering cooking classes as well. Along with the program, you get a textbook and you get written recipes. Um, there's over 25 on-demand cooking demonstrations uh, with insights on cooking ingredients. A lot of these ingredients people haven't heard before, mm -hmm. but they're really cutting edge like I always say, the vegans have it down not to eat animal food, but take it a step more, you learn more about healing foods and macrobiotics. And I, I will say that um, my, my contribution to the, the recipes is that they're simple. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> like me can, <laughs> can follow them. them. Yeah. yeah, and do them in such a beautiful job. So we're gonna show you a QR code to get the recipe today for the carrot daikon drink to help you lose weight. And um, we really enjoyed you joining us with our first um, live person that <laughs> has changed her eating habits and, and becoming more clear and clean through macrobiotic food. 
and we hope to have more people on to share their story, their recovery story. And we really hope that you join us next time. Thanks for watching. And I'm Sherry Damaris, and we're going to toast to our carrot icon <laughs> drink. <laughs>